Hello and welcome to Canton This Month. I'm your host, Diane Baker. During our show, we'll bring you a variety of special reports from throughout the community as well as local news and more. Canton This Month is produced by Canton Community Television and the Canton Municipal Government. Our show this month begins with an introduction to this year's Hall of Fame inductee, followed by a review of Canton's sidewalk program. Then we'll learn all about the Emergency Food Assistance Program and finally, we'll see what we can do to keep our property looking nice this summer. All this and more when we return to Canton This Month. Nestled in the beautiful community of Canton Township, the Pheasant Run Golf Club offers a pristine 27-hole layout. Designed by Arthur Hills, the course was designed to be played by all. The four-star grill and pro shop offer golfers dining and apparel options. We also have Summit on the Park, which has a spectacular banquet facility for people who want something a little more formal. Go to golfprgc.org or call 734-397-6460 today. And now let's turn to the news. In honor of National Public Works Week, Can would like to recognize the men and women who make up Canton's Public Works Division. Instituted as a public education campaign by the American Public Works Association in 1960, National Public Works Week is observed each year during the third full week of May. It was designed to call attention to the importance of public works in the community and enhance the prestige of the often unsung heroes of our society, the professionals who serve the public good every day with quite dedication. This year's celebration will begin Sunday, May 21st and continue through Saturday, May 27th. National Public Works Week is a great opportunity to thank and recognize these hardworking individuals who provide and maintain the infrastructure and services that keep our community beautiful. In an effort to protect water resources, Canton is urging all residents to carefully store and dispose of household cleaners, chemicals, and oil during the month of May. When not disposed of properly, hazardous waste can pollute our waterways when washed or dumped into storm drains or roadside ditches. You can identify hazardous waste by reading labels. The words danger, caution, warning, or toxic indicate the need to be careful in how you use and dispose of the product. Reduce waste and save money by purchasing only the materials you need. When possible, choose less toxic alternatives. Keep unused products in their original containers with the label intact. Select cool, dry storage areas that are away from kids, pets, and wildlife. Never dump motor oil, chemicals, or other toxic materials down storm drains, sinks, or on the ground. They can be disposed at a nearby drop-off location. For more information on how to protect the environment, visit canton-mi.org forward slash environment dot ASP. Celebrate National Water Safety Awareness Month by attending special Water Safety Awareness Week events. Join us on May 16th and 18th from 6 to 7 p.m. or on May 20th from 1.30 to 2.30 p.m. in the Summit Aquatic Center. Topics that will be covered at each event include look before you leap, reach or throw, don't go, summer safety and more. Be sure to bring a swimsuit and towel because free open swim will follow the event. Register now online at summitonthepark.org or at the Summit front desk. Just a reminder, Cannes Annual River Day celebration will be held on Saturday, May 20th from 8 a.m. to noon at Floden Park, rain or shine. River Day is a celebration of the rivers in the southeast Michigan region. Every year, hundreds of volunteers make a difference by helping to preserve the quality of Cannes creeks and streams. For more information on River Day or to pre-register for the event, call 394-5150. We'll be back with more Cam This Month.
Hey folks, Canton Township has an app. MyCanton is the official mobile app for the Canton community. The app provides a connection between the township and its citizens and visitors. Enjoy convenient access to local officials, businesses, and event registration. Whether a resident or visitor, this app delivers access to community news, events, emergency alerts, and more. Download the MyCan app today and connect with the community. Available at Apple and Google Play Store. Welcome back and now a look at this year's Hall of Fame inductee. John and Lisa Partington. Their name is synonymous with Holiday Market as they have owned and operated the store in Canton for nearly 20 years. Right from the start, they embrace Canton with the attitude of, if you're going to live here and want your community to support you, you have to support them. And boy, have they. You would be hard pressed to find a local organization that hasn't in some way benefited from the Partington's generosity and community spirit. And most of the time, they go about this quietly and without fanfare. They work with Walton Wood at Cherry Hill to do grocery shopping and drop off each week for residents who cannot make it into the store. When St. Thomas a Beckett calls needing 250 hot dogs and buns, the Partingtons happily make the donation. The Partingtons support the Special Olympics, Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, area schools, churches, and the list goes on and on. Every community organization knows that the Partingtons have an open door policy for groups to come in and raise money for a variety of worthy causes. Ask anyone who works at their store and they will tell you the staff is like a family. During the holiday season, they adopt two to three families from their employee clan who are facing financial challenges and provide everything needed for a happy Thanksgiving or Christmas. They have even been known to pay other bills as well, all quietly done behind the scenes. Every year since its inception, the Partingtons have sponsored and supported the Brews, Brats, and Bands at the Barn event in partnership with Canton Leisure Services. Funds raised at this event benefit the Canton Historical Society, and approximately $70,000 has been raised over the last seven years to help to preserve the history of Canton Township, educate people about civic history, and promote the township's cultural heritage. In June 2014, John and Lisa suddenly lost their 20-year-old son, Max. He died of an undiagnosed condition called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. There are often no symptoms, and a regular physical exam can't detect it. The Partington family were somehow able to turn their tragedy into an opportunity to remind us all how special life is and live life to the fullest. John and Lisa, along with their children, Claire, Emily, and Jack, began the Live Like Max Foundation, which helps to fund healthy heart checks for student athletes. They are committed to trying to ensure that no other family has to suffer a loss like theirs. The Live Like Max Foundation's number one goal is spreading awareness to all student athletes and their families about athletes' heart and the importance of getting checked yearly to avoid this senseless death. Another goal of the Live Like Max Foundation is to partner with Beaumont Hospital in providing funds to maintain their free student healthy heart check program. This program is 100% funded by private donations. The Partingtons have helped enrich and strengthen the student heart check program in countless ways. They attend every heart screening event, have helped buy new and improved medical equipment such as EKG and echo machines, and are constantly thinking of ways to support the program and raise awareness about sudden cardiac arrest in the young. John also engages with parents and kids at the screenings to tell them the story of Max. At the last screening in February, a family from Lapeer who had just lost their son to HCM attended the screening. John and Lisa welcomed them with open arms and spent time talking to them about their loss and the screening program. The very first Live Like Max Health screening was done with Plymouth Canton Community Schools and over 400 students were screened. Since then, they have expanded the cause, visiting high schools throughout the region. There have been 1,772 students screened thus far since starting in 2015, with 249 able to play with follow-up designations and 18 diagnoses that required athletes stopping physical activity. Endless charity events are held to raise money for the Live Like Max Foundation, including wine tastings, 5K runs, and fundraisers at Super Bowl in Canton. John and Lisa were instrumental in organizing the very first Canton wine tasting for charity, which raised $5,000 for the Canton Lions. Since then, the wine tasting has become a regular event, benefiting one or more charities every year. In the last few years specifically, Holiday Market has partnered with the Chamber of Commerce to present the Canton Community Wine Tasting event, 
where 50% of the proceeds benefit the Live Like Max Foundation. This year was the biggest one yet with more than $7,800 benefiting the foundation. Thomas Payden, president of the Canton Chamber of Commerce, said there is no one better to give the Hall of Fame award to than John and Lisa Partington. He stated that it takes someone special to turn tragedy into an opportunity to remind us all how special life is. He said it is truly an honor to have the Partingtons as partners and members of the Canton Chamber of Commerce. The Partingtons have devoted so much of their time and generosity to the Canton community and are more than deserving of this recognition. In gathering information for this award, the theme that repeated itself over and over was that the Partingtons do not say no. They have opened their store and their hearts to so many groups, causes, and events. Canton is fortunate to have residents like John and Lisa Partington. Their legacy will be one that will continue to benefit the community and the hearts of young athletes for years to come. The countdown for this year's Liberty Fest has begun. Canton's 26th annual Liberty Fest is scheduled to take place on Thursday, June 15th through Saturday, June 17th on the grounds of Heritage Park. This annual event will once again provide plenty of family fun, great music, delicious festival food, and a spectacular fireworks display. Special discounts on festival wristbands will be coming soon. Be sure to check out CantLibertyFest.com for updates. Also, don't forget about the Liberty Festival 5K, 10K, and Family Fun Run on Saturday morning. Please visit CantLibertyRun.com for additional details. Preservation Park will be bustling with local growers, food producers, and artisans on Sunday, May 14th, as the Canton Farmer's Market kicks off its regular season. The Farmer's Market will be held every Sunday through October 12th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. rain or shine at 500 North Ridge Road. Artist Bob Scon will be singing and playing music on the porch. Kids can enjoy crafts and the bounce house as well as story time with the Canton Public Library. Additional highlights at the Farmer's Market in May include a perennial exchange, music with Ms. Carissa, and cooking demos with Chef Greg and Chef Jesse. The Farmer's Market is grateful for sponsorship by All Saints Catholic School for the second season in a row. For more market details, visit canton-mi.org forward slash 496 or like us on Facebook. St. Joseph Mercy Health System is teaming up with Canton Leisure Services to offer its annual Healthy Summer Kickoff on May 20th from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. Join St. Joe's Health Reporter Lila Lazarus for this strolling, family-friendly event being held at St. Joseph Mercy Canton, located at 1600 South Canton Center Road. St. Joseph Mercy Canton will offer a number of free health screenings, including skin cancer, blood pressure, and more. Enjoy free family fun, including Arctic Edge street hockey, digital fingerprinting, family exercise mini sessions, free bike helmets and fittings while supplies last, and more. Plus, enter for a chance to win Detroit Tigers tickets. For more information, visit stjoeshealth.org forward slash healthy dash kick dash off. Escape to the Block Youth and Teen Center this summer and experience a summer vacation like none other. Children ages 11 through 17 can take part in our summer program, which runs Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. This summer program mixes the right amount of hangout time with fun activities specifically designed for teens. Every Friday, we'll whisk our teens away on an adventure to some of the coolest spots around. Please note that no daily drop-ins will be available this summer. Week rates are $126 for residents and $151 for non-residents. Register for three or more weeks and save. Visit CantonFun.org for the latest details on trips, activities, registration, and more. And now, let's take a look at Canton's Sidewalk Program. In an effort to promote safety and enhance the community's appearance, Canton is continuing its sidewalk repair program. Each spring, the township selects different subdivisions based on the year they were constructed. Canton's older subdivisions were given first priority, while newer areas have been added in subsequent years. In early spring, Canton's utility inspectors began inspecting township sidewalks. On areas of sidewalk that needed to be repaired or replaced, inspectors placed green dots to denote resident responsibility and red dots to denote township responsibility. All markings were completed by mid-May. Property owners with sidewalk in need of repair received notification letters from the township with an estimate for a repair. The letter also informed them of the public date hearing date which was held in May. If you were notified that part of your sidewalk needs to be repaired or replaced, there are three options to handle the situation. One, you may hire a contractor to replace the sidewalk. Two, you may also choose to replace the marked sidewalk yourself. 
If you choose either of these options, you must go through the building division and apply for a permit. The work must be inspected and completed within 60 days of the notification. Otherwise, the township contractor will complete the repairs. If you do not complete the sidewalk replacement within 60 days, the township's contractor will replace it and you will be billed for the cost. Please keep in mind that the township prices are likely to be lower due to the large volume of work that is to be done. For more information on Canton Sidewalk Program, visit www.canton-mi.org or contact Engineering Services at 394-5150. Co-ed Recreational and Competitive Sand Volleyball sign-up is now open. Teams of four will compete on the beaches of Canton on Wednesday evenings. Per team pricing is as low as $90. For more information, call the Canton Sports Center at 483-5600 or register online at cantonfun.org. Play begins May 17th, so register today. If you work in downtown Ann Arbor or at the University of Michigan, Express Ride may be for you. Express Ride, brought to you by the Ann Arbor Area Transportation Authority, is a nonstop service from Canton to downtown Ann Arbor and the University of Michigan Central and Medical Campuses. You can board the Express Ride from a free, convenient park and ride lot right in Canton. There's so many benefits. It lets you forget about parking, traffic, and pollution, and the buses have free Wi-Fi and comfortable seating. How much does it cost? A one-way cash fare is $6.25. However, if you ride regularly, you can purchase a 10-ride ticket for $62.50 or a 30-day commuter pass for $125. Be sure to check with your employer because employees of some businesses are eligible for discounted passes. For more information, including route details, please visit myexpressride.org. Dog owners and their pets are encouraged to attend Bark in the Park, which is set to take place on Sunday, May 21st from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Canton Dog Park, located on Denton Road. Participants, along with their four-legged friends, can enjoy live entertainment, purchase merchandise, and receive free giveaways from local pet supply and service vendors. Both members of the dog park and non-members are welcome. This special event is designed to give pet owners the opportunity to learn about the Canton Dog Park, meet other pet owners, and give dogs the opportunity to become more socialized. Please note, non-dog park members must show proof of up-to-date vaccination for rabies and DHLPP signed by an accredited veterinarian. No pre-registration is required. For additional information, visit cantonfun.org. As part of National Trails Day, join us as Canton hits the trails at the Lower Rouge Trailhead, located at Michigan Avenue and Morton Taylor Road. This American Hiking Society event will be held on Saturday, June 3rd from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Scheduled activities include self-guided hiking along the beautiful Rouge River, educational displays and talks on outdoor photography, local wildlife and bird watching, a make-it-yourself trail mix station, and more. This is a free event for families and pets to raise awareness of the Lower Rouge Trail System. For all the details, call 394-5460. We'll be right back with more Canton This Month. Nestled in the beautiful community of Canton Township, the Pheasant Run Golf Club offers a pristine 27-hole layout. Designed by Arthur Hills, the course was designed to be played by all. The four-star grill and pro shop offer golfers dining and apparel options. We also have Summit on the Park, which has a spectacular banquet facility for people who want something a little more formal. Go to golfprgc.org or call 734-397-6460 today. Welcome back, and now for a public service announcement from the Emergency Food Assistance Program. This is called the Emergency Food Assistance Program, also known as TFAP. 
Um, it is a supplemental food program for Canton residents. Uh, and you have to qualify for this program either by having a bridge card, collecting Social Security, or having Medicaid. Um, or you can also fall under the income requirement if you don't have any of those by showing your W-2, um, showing that you make under a certain amount per year. The, the program is once a month. It's uh, annually, so it's every year or every month for a year. Um, and we distribute on the third Wednesday of every month from 9.30 till 12 uh, here at the summit. The food is distributed from Gleaners, downtown Detroit. Um, it distributes to its warehouses, our warehouses in Westland, um, where our parks division goes and picks it up from there and brings it here. It, it has to be federal uh, approved food, it comes from Gleaners, it has to come from Gleaners. So uh, it's whatever they send us that month. Um, but it's usually quite a, it's quite a bit, especially if you're a single person, you're getting three, four bags of groceries, that could, that could save you from one or two weeks of grocery shopping. So, you know, it does help people. But it's important for, you know, the people who, who just need that little bit of extra help, who maybe just lost their job, wasn't prepared for this, you know, whatever your situation may be. So when you sign up for the program, you need to come in, you need to sign in every month. Um, we need to account that you've been here and how much food you've taken. So you would just come in and sign in. Um, if you are signing in for dependents, you would need to bring birth certificates for your children to show that you do claim them. It's all about how, much, how many people you claim on your taxes. Um, a lot of people get it confused where they have roommates. Well, we each should get a bag, you know, we should, no, you're living in the same household. So it's per household. Based on the number of people in your family, it can be anywhere from one person, which is around 23,000 a year, to up to 10 people, which is, uh, you know, 70,000 a year. Um, so you have to make under that amount, and you need to prove that you make under that amount. If you can't prove it, um, if you had just lost your job and you were making that amount but you don't anymore, you can self-declare, and that's basically coming in, signing a form, saying, I just don't have the money, and that's good for three months. So you need to show proof of your dependence. You come in, you sign in, you get a pink card that you keep. It's good for a year, and every month I just check it off. I check off mine, I check off yours, and that's it. It's a pretty easy process. I have a wonderful staff of volunteers who actually come every month regularly um, and they come early about 8 o'clock, the food gets delivered, we package all this food up and get it ready by 9.30 for distribution. Myself and all of the other volunteers, we, when we arrive, they deliver the food in uh, car cartons or cases that are donated, and it comes through Wayne County. We then break that down and pack it up into uh, separate orders, uh, and depending on the size of the family, the quantity that goes into each of those orders is determined by that household quantity. So we do all that packing, get it staged, then as the uh, folks come in, we also assist them with getting it out to their vehicle. So you would go to www.canton-mi.org. You would go to the supervisor's page, and under the supervisor's page is the emergency food assistance program. Um, so you would go there, and if you need to contact me, it's at 734-394-5185. The world's leading mentalist, Banachek, will visit the Village Theater on May 20th and 21st. His performance is an exhilarating journey into the unknown, offering a mind-blowing display of incredible feats, ESP, and impossible prediction. Banachek will introduce mystery after mystery to the audience, demonstrating effects that defy reason. We encourage all to join our investigation. The impossible is performed with the assistance of skeptics and true believers randomly selected reaching into their minds and their past in ways that are inexplicable. Tickets are $20 for all seats and can be purchased at the door or in advance at cantonvillagetheater.org. For more information, call 394-5300. The Summit on the Park is currently offering anyone who registers for swim lessons from now through June 16th a 10% discount on a Summit on the Park birthday party. The party must be scheduled within the time frame listed above in order to receive the discount. This 10% discount is only available for birthday party services paid in advance and not valid on services paid for the day of the party. To qualify for the discount, birthday party recipients must be enrolled and participate in swim lessons during the offer timeline. Swim lesson receipt must be presented to redeem the discount. For additional information, visit someoneonthepark.org. 
Each month on the ninth day from May through October, Pheasant Run will be holding special events as part of the USGA Play 9 initiative. The focus of this program is to encourage everyone to get out and play 9. Come join us this month for the following great deal. On Tuesday, May 9th, pay just $25 for nine holes of golf, range balls, hot dog chips, and a fountain drink. This offer is good for the entire day. For additional information, visit golfprgc.org or call 397-6460. Don't go away. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back, and now let's see how to keep your property beautiful all summer long. Keeping our neighborhood safe and beautiful is a responsibility of all Canton residents, especially home and property owners. A well-kept property makes the home more inviting, enhances the neighborhood, and increases property values. Spring is a perfect time to spruce up and clean up your property by following a few basic tips. Rake away debris and get rid of weeds. Consider hand pulling large weeds instead of using an herbicide to help protect the environment. Keeping a well-maintained yard will help identify and remove weeds more easily. Keep lawns, bushes, and trees trimmed and healthy. Any bushes, shrubs, or trees encroaching on the sidewalk is an ordinance violation and must be cut back. Fertilize sparingly and caringly. Choose a fertilizer with low or no phosphorus or select an organic slow-release fertilizer. These environmentally friendly options help keep pollution out of lakes and rivers and protect water quality. For more environmentally friendly tips, visit www.canton-mi.org slash environment.asp. Mow high. Keep mower blades sharp and balanced and don't cut your lawn too short. A height of three to four inches will reduce insect damage, reduce water usage, and reduce runoff and leaching. Sweep it. Sweep all streets and sidewalk of grass clippings and fertilizer to keep pollution out of waterways. Dispose of yard waste properly. Grass clipping, leaves, and garden waste must be placed in 30-gallon paper yard waste bags or 32-gallon reusable containers with sturdy handles marked compost. Stickers for reusable containers are available at Canton Treasurer's Office. Inspect it. Walk around your home and check for roofing problems, deteriorated siding, gutters, foundations, broken or cracked windows, torn screens, and deteriorated porches and steps. In addition, make sure you remove any accumulated trash or debris around your home. Items such as refrigerators, washers, dryers, dishwashers, steel bathtubs, couches, chairs, mattresses, televisions, lamps, or tables must be set out with your trash before 6.30 a.m. on your trash day. We hope you've enjoyed our show. Next month, we will again bring you a variety of reports from throughout our community. On behalf of the team at Canton this month, I'm Diane Baker, and I'll see you in Canton.